All right, pin. Pin. <laughs> Ready? There's a fire. All right, that's not a flame safe design. Wow, actually that really did provide a lot. Oh, there's not another. Well, we're gonna say that's, uh, you know, I've been trying to get away from this fart valve by using chemical uh, binders and it is not working so hot. Son of a bitch. This is the same container as that fat boy there. And I'm testing a new composition with less magnesium carbonate. Hopefully it won't flare up like those last ones. That's awesome. Oh, there it is. I flare up at the end. Well, this is spooky as shit. This is a new device design test with the new binder, cellulose acetate in conjunction with the use of a silicone flutter valve, which in this case is just a, a little uh, pad that's installed, a little disc that's installed at the bottom of this. You can just slide it out and pop it in. So I'm gonna test this out. Uh, it's nighttime because, well, basically I don't have any time during the day because I work, but also we'll be able to see the flare ups um, if there are any with this design. cool all right so the ejected content in the beginning was the ignition composition and it is because i did a cellulose acetate concentration of three percent instead of four percent which does make a huge difference i found so it needs to be a solidified pellet um and i think obviously i probably used too much ignition comp as well but overall that worked pretty well Holy shit, I think I got it. This is a new canister. It has a silicone valve on the bottom, which is similar to this. It just has an X in it to uh, baffle. It's a dynamic baffle to prevent the flare-ups. Uh, an M228 ignition. It does have... a helical igniter. It's not a helical igniter, actually. I'm gonna call this a, a teardrop igniter. How about that? So you see here, 
so a helical igniter is gonna would be too aggressive for this it would result in an excessive amount of this xm83 starter composition and it would flare up and eject ash so the difference between this device and the previous one uh the one that i tested in the dark is that this has a this was made with a 4.5 percent cellulose acetate binding solution and then the grant it was granulated it was dried out and then it was compressed then it was cored uh not exactly centered um and this should help retain its shape while still keeping an increased rate of combustion because the channels created by the compressed granules will allow the smoke to escape. Um, and this is more so for ignition, this little guy. Um, it's to ignite it, the, the core, it's to ignite the core in the center and it just catches the visco fuse coming out of the M228 here. Um, I am working on getting these canisters manufactured is I want to tweak the design a little bit. The reason this is so great is because not only is it an improvement on the TPA formula of the current smoke grenades that are used in combat today, um, even though they're like 80, <laughs> they're like fucking 100 years old. Uh, that TPA formula was originally used for training grenades. Now they got rid of the hexachloroethane zinc devices because they were carcinogenic, even though they're highly effective. Um, and now they're using the old M83s that they used for used to use for training. They're using them for combat. And this is more efficient. I'm not sure to what degree. I'll have to measure that, uh, you know, because of the binder choice. And it allows us to use a formula with extremely high optical density, you know, something that's really good for screening. Um, it reflects a ton of light and it's super low toxicity. And assuming that this, this design will prevent an ignition, like dude, all it takes is one second of a flare up to start a fucking forest fire. Like you saw that, you saw those flare ups in the, in the first couple videos, three videos. The first two that ignited just the first two flare-ups that occurred in both of those devices started a fucking fire. So like we, we, zero flare-ups and, and the M83, the military's M83 is just classified technically as a screening or a smoke grenade, but it all is cross classified as an incendiary as well. And they, all they say is it has incendiary properties because those flare up too. But anyway, I'm going to drop this and show you how it works. Dude, that thing is, <laughs> look at how dense, optically dense this smoke is. That is incredible. Holy shit. Look at how, the, see, you got four feet of smoke, complete screen. Isn't that insane? Shit, my phone was full. This has been about three minutes. I had to go through and delete videos. <laughs> but yeah, this is a really great formula. I'm really excited about this. There was no flare-ups and a highly effective screening smoke. And now they're coming for me. Yeah, that is really, look at that. Such a low density can create such an obs such a good screen. Hi. Invention and con it. the chopper. You need to stay 300 feet away from these woods and you know it. Go home. Okay, goodbye. I love you.